guys welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is faith i have a one-year-old named asher today i just wanted to do a what he got for christmas he got so much stuff it is insane he is one and he got way more gifts than i could imagine with santa and all of our family combined he is so spoiled and so loved i am so thankful for everything that he was able to get. I am in no way trying to brag or show it off. I just thought that maybe for any birthdays coming up or even next year you can do your shopping early. These are some great gift ideas. These are just like the top 15 that I've seen he plays with the most. So if you got him something and it's not in this video, do not think we do not appreciate it. I think I'm going to start with things Santa got him and then work our way from there. Let's jump on in. First thing he got was this little snail popper. This is probably my favorite toy that he got. It is so cute and just so simple. When you press it, it lights up and the balls move around. He loves doing it. He can't get it to where the light comes on. But he still plays with it and he'll bring it to me to get the light to come on because he likes seeing it. It also has like wheels on the bottom. For some reason you wanted it to like roll. It can do that. It's just so cute. It's very gender neutral too. be for a girl or a boy. I think most of these toys are gender neutral. Just because most baby toys are. They're just colorful like learning toys. But... I just love the way this looks. The next gift that Santa got him that I want to share with you all are these books. Classic, you know, Very Hungry Caterpillar and Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I've been trying to do better with reading to him after his bath, right before I lay him down. And these books are just like colorful. He really enjoys seeing them and pointing at the pictures in them. He also is get learning animal noises from this book. I will make the noise and point at like ruff ruff and he will try to mock it most of the time. These are just so cute and classics. I grew up with these and I just love that he gets to. He is in love with Toy Story and I guess Santa got the memo because Disney Plus has Toy Stories 1 through 3 but does not have 4. So of course Santa brought him Toy Story 4. I was probably more excited than he was for this. Such a cute movie and he loves watching it. We'll put it on while he eats and yeah, it just helps him eat more. I know that sounds weird, but if he's watching a movie, he eats so much better. More on the Toy Story, Santa got him a Mr. Potato Head and a Buzz. He prefers Buzz over Woody, so Santa also knew that because Santa knows everything, and got him a Buzz who he'll just like carry him around. Like he doesn't specifically play with him. He also doesn't really play with him either. He just likes like pulling the things off and trying to put them back on. He loves Toy Story and these are in life Toy Story people. Another thing from Santa that might be a controversial topic, it's a backpack with a leash on it. I've been wanting one of these. He has been walking around and he wants to walk around in the store and I'd much rather prefer me have him that distance max to where I can fill him. So if I turn around real quick to grab some diapers or something, I can feel if someone tries to snatch him or if he goes running. Not everyone agrees with this and that's okay. Leave your comments to yourself. I, however, support this because keep your baby safe. Inside of this, we will carry a bunch of toys around so that way he has stuff to play with. Usually his buzz is in here. Right now I got all these like cute little links that Santa also got him. I just think they're so cute. Colors that are so much cuter than like bright red and bright green. Teal and purple and that neutral pinky tan color. Also inside of here he has some like little Toy Story finger puppets and he loves putting them on and off of my fingers. I don't know what it is but he really likes these. Along with that are some little people Toy Story characters which he also likes to play with. The funny thing about this is he will see it and I've taught him that the dinosaur goes roar and so he will 
drawer with it. It's so cute. The last thing that's in this backpack is actually something that Santa didn't get him. One of my close friends got this for him and it's just like a little maraca not a rattle it's a maraca he got two of them one's buzz and one is woody i cannot find the buzz one so the woody one it is he probably left it in the car or something because he likes to just carry these around he just got those yesterday and somehow we already lost the buzz i Last thing that came from Santa that I want to show you all are these little stacking cups. They also have little numbers on the bottom to try to promote counting. I don't know if you can even see. Yeah. He likes cups and he likes putting things into things. And they're so simple and cheap and little, but yet it makes him so happy. The rest of this stuff mostly came from his grandparents, whether it be my side or Nick's side. I don't even know where to start so we'll just grab something and go. One of his favorite toys that he got. He loves to... He loves it and it also comes with little sticks to hit it but he's so much first to just like hit the little keys. He will even do like piano fingers. He'll be like... And it's so cute. He makes little music. It's loud but it makes him so so happy. The next thing he got is this beat bop. I actually got this one whenever he was like tiny baby and the belly just Can your tummy do this? <laughs> and he would just stare at it as it lights up and sings to him and he learned how to press it himself. He kind of grown out of this one, which I think is great that they upgraded him to this one. I think Nick's parents got him this and he, they also got him that one this one actually like if you press this button when my tummy turns red say something and i'll sing it back get ready hi asher, hi, asher. he of course is in love with this and loves staring at the belly and presses the buttons it's so cool that it records your voice and will like sing it back to you one of his favorites that Nick's parents got him is this giggle ball. He first played with his cousins and he literally like, if I can get a video of him playing with it, I'll insert it here because it's so cute. He's learned how to press this little button himself and he will hold it and it just jiggles and he will like he loves this. I don't understand. The only thing about this toy is you're going to need tons of batteries. I have to change the batteries what seems like every single day because he plays with it so much. The ball is just so strong that it, it drains the battery so fast. So that is the only downfall about this. But other than that, it makes him so, so happy. The last thing that I'm going to show you that Nick's dad and stepmom got Asher that he has been extremely playing with are these trucks and they're like softer like squish them loves rolling them around he just i don't know what it is but he loves cars and rolling them around and these big ones just catch his eyes so much these little trucks love them so i only have two items from my side of the family that i want to share I'm not saying he did not appreciate all the toys from my side he got so much stuff it's so funny because one of them is not even a toy this it's this large dum-dum, just full of like dum-dums in it. And my mom got it because he loves to eat dum-dums. But he actually prefers to just like play with this. And I'm scared to like take it apart and let him eat the dum-dums. Because I don't think I'll be able to make it look as good. So once he figures out how to get all this off, I will give him the dum-dums. But until then, he just loves being around with this. And whenever he first got it, he did not let it go. It was the first thing he got at my mom's and he did not want to deal with any of the other gifts all he wanted was his big dum dum it's so cute when he wakes up in the morning this is what he grabs and it's not even a toy i have no clue where she got it but the other thing that was from my side of the family that i want to show you is a bigger item so i'm probably going to insert a clip here instead of showing you now because it's too big to hold but it's just this big toy and it has little balls with it and you like push the button and the balls shoot up and they go down the slides and I just think it's so cool and once we finally get him to understand when you press the button the ball shoot up I think he will enjoy it way more.
can't wait for him to start enjoying it because I think it's very cool. There's one thing that he got from Nick's mom and he sleeps with it most of the time. Even though he's taking his nap, I decided that I would take it so that way I could show you guys. Trust me, he has a different toy to cuddle with. Little seahorse. You press the belly. Lights up and it sings. It makes waves and noises. I feel like that this is really good whenever he wakes up in the middle of the night or wakes up in the morning and he has something to kind of play with and interact with. I have two more items that I want to share with you guys, but right now those are in the car and Nick is currently at work. One of them is this tablet that he also got from Nick's mom. Everyone's probably seen it. It's just sold in Walmart and it's not a real tablet, the baby tablet and it has A through Z and you click it and it'll be the noise or the letter or what the animal makes that's on there. He plays with that mostly in the car. It helps so much with distracting him because he is horrible in the car. He does not like it whatsoever and this toy gives him something to kind of play with and interact with and it has so many buttons that he still has not gotten tired of it. We'll also insert a picture of that here. Just like get a picture off of Amazon. The last thing that I want to share with you guys is actually a super big one. His granny got him this. Actually Nick's granny so it'd be Asher's great granny but we just call her granny. Push toy that like it's a car and he sits in it and will handle for the parent to push. We haven't really got to use it yet because our apartment's so small that I have no clue where to use it. So it'll probably be a lot better at the summertime when we go to a park and push him around or something or go down to the river where his granny lives and maybe push him around in it there. I can't wait to finally get to use it. I feel like he's going to absolutely love it. And I will also try to insert a picture here if I can find it. That's going to be all the gifts that I'm going to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and got some helpful gift ideas for your little ones for their birthday or next year's Christmas. Asher is so thankful for everything that he got and we are thankful for you guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Comment below what your favorite toy was or your favorite toy that your little one got this year. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.